Yeah, hi Arnie. Lockie here from Undercover Cars. Uh, as promised, mate, here's a walk around video of the uh, Armstrong Sidley Whitley. Give you an idea of how nice the car is. You can see the paintwork is really nice. If I open the boot. There's a box here with some spares, some material from when the car was trimmed. Um, you know, all sorts of different little bits and odds and ends in there. Jack is there, spare, in its correct spot. See even under here is trimmed nicely. Let's close the boot. Shuts nicely. Wheels are the correct style. As I said, brand new tyres, we've just put those on. If you're going to fold things, this you know, there's a bit of pitting in the door handles here. The window frames and stuff are all nice. Hubcaps are, are in decent condition. You can see in the door jams here, this is all nicely finished. Woodwork in the door trims inside are beautiful. Again, the chrome on the pieces inside is very nice. Carpets are lovely. Headlining's all good. You can see the trim in the car is near immaculate. Little pockets in the doors. Around here. Again, windows, glass, frames are nice. These door handles and the trim inside here is really lovely. Trim on the seat. This is the plaque I was talking about. If I slip in here, you can see the gauges are quite nice. Woodwork on the dash is, is nice. This trim all around here is lovely. Glass in the mirrors like new. This is the holder for the uh, the sun visors. I don't know if you can see that. So all that's there and the sun visors are in the boot as we discussed but um, one of them's broken, so they just need something covered on them and put back on. See the pre-selector lever here. All the switches and stuff are in good condition. Show you the front of the car first, just before I pop the bonnet. Again, paint's nice, body's nice and straight. See the, the grill and all that stuff's nice, headlight surrounds are good. This is what I'm talking about with the bumper, mate. Um, it does need re-chroming, the front bumper. It's just a time issue for us is the only reason we haven't done that. You can see the reflections in the side of it and how nice the paintwork is. The bumper's not that bad on the front. I mean, you'd get away with it for a little while, mate. But uh, if you wanted it to be real Mickey Mouse, it's certainly uh, something you would do. If you did that sort of stuff, it would be a show quality car. See the beautiful, again, woodwork's lovely. Inside here's all nice. Trim's beautiful. Semaphores do pop out. The battery needs to be up, you know, and alternator working the battery because those things work on solenoids that um, need full power for them to pop right out, but they do work. See the nice stripe down the side. I'll just pull the bonnet up, give you a quick look under there. Catches on this one. That's the one. So you can see even the underside of the bonnet's nice. Under here is all good. 
Very good condition under the bonnet. You can see it's got some of the delivery markings still on it, so it was obviously a very good restoration when it was done. See the plaque here. Doesn't want to focus. Doesn't want to focus for me, mate. Anyway, I can send you a picture of that if you need that. But in good condition under the bonnet. If I get under here, it's a bit hard to see in this light, mate, but again, it's all nice under here. But uh, that gives you a little bit of an overview, mate. If there's anything specific you're chasing, let me know. Send me a message, buddy, and I'll uh, get something across to you. But uh, yeah, just a nice, tidy car all around. You'd struggle to find a, uh, a better one. Thanks, mate.